Now there's various algaes like Bryopsis that can grow in your aquarium. This aquarium fortunately doesn't have Bryopsis in it, but when you get like a cover of algae on the rock, you can go online and look at what sort of algae that actually is. But what can happen with your rock, particularly with your live rock, it's so porous, made of a calcium carbonate material. And then what happens is your phosphates and various nutrients are bound up within the rock. So if the rock has been exposed to high levels of nitrate and phosphate, for example, then particularly the phosphates are going to bound up within the rock. Then as you start to improve your nutrient export and you start to get your um, phosphate levels and so forth down, then um, the nutrients will slowly defuse out of the rock. So all of the algae that grows on the rock is going to have a very immediate access to that nutrient. So therefore, you can find that you're testing nitrate and phosphate to be absolutely zero, yet for ex exceeded amounts of time, your algae just seems to keep thriving um, regardless of um, what you would otherwise think is perfect water quality. But you need to be very patient because you need to wait for these nutrients to defuse out of your rock, defuse out of your sand and so forth. So though it may be very discouraging that you get your water right and it just doesn't seem to stop the algae, if you persist with what you're doing and it's effective, then eventually you will be able to get on top of it. And then that, that act as like a buffer. So just as your rock is a buffer, as far as um, releasing nutrients out of your rock, it's also a buffer in reference to um, nutrients going into the rock. So you just need effective nutrient export and you need to just stick with it until you get the results you want. And if you do have algaes like Bryopsis, there are particular products that can be effective in regards to killing it that you could consider. Once again, if in doubt, grab your phone, make a video of your tank running and bring a sample of water down here to Majestic Aquariums where we can help diagnose what the algae is and what a long-term um, solution is for that particular algae. But once again, the algae is not a problem. The algae is signifying a problem. So if you fix the problem, you fix the algae, it's just not as immediate as you think. You must be patient.